photographs of the Beatles, but not photographs of the Beatles that I recognise, and actually photographs of the, looks like sort of, I don't know, floor staff in a television studio filling in uh, during the lighting run-through. Well, uh, it was a show done at um, Teddington Studios. In, and you were involved I, with, the, with the studios, I, I were you? I was employed there, yes, uh, in the sound department. Right. Um, and I worked on this show. They'd just come back from America, I think, and it was a sort of like welcome home type of show, I think. So I took my camera along with me and I managed to get these shots. We've got um, photographs of Ringo and of John and George. Uh, oh, this is nice because this is actually in the studio itself and you can see the cameras there, the lights yes. and so on. But the, the big thing was that... Um, the little girls were all outside in, in the road. Outside oh, the, the Beatle maniacs. Uh, yes, yes. Um, completely blocking the road. The gates had to be locked. We were all locked in for the day. But how did but, they get in? Well, Teddington Studios uh, has river frontage with the Thames. So they brought them up the river mm. and we featured that in the programme. Fantastic. Um, as far as I can see, you own the copyright on this. Well, I, I presume so, yes. It was your own camera? Yes. It was your own film? Yes. And you've got how many of them? Um, there's 20 there altogether. OK. And they are, th these, these obviously are just, are just prints, but from, from the originals? From the original slides, yes. Which, those, are, which these? are those? Yes. Let's just open these up. And on the top, up here, we can actually just see, very small, that it says February 64. Before, yes. Now, I've seen a lot of Beatle photographs over the years, and you know, a lot of the images are known, they're published, they're uh, not terribly uh, exciting. It's always interesting to come across something that, that hasn't been seen before. These haven't. You own the copyright, which then means that you can, you can use them for anything you like, in theory. Yes. You could make calendars out of them, you could um, make posters out of them, you could use them for anything. Uh, and that then makes them very interesting financially. Have you gone into the likely value at all? No, I haven't, not at all. In fact, uh, <laughs> they've been in my loft for 40 years. And it was only when I mentioned it to my son-in-law that he said, well, why don't you go and find out how much they're worth? You know, OK, so, so. so, so this, is, this is the dowry, is it? Well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, yes. Yes. Well, he's hoping. He's hoping yes. this is going to be the dowry. Yes. Without copyright, these are interesting but not exciting. Um, they would be worth perhaps hundred pounds each, probably less than that actually. Mm -hmm. um, but with the ability to use these for anything you want to, i.e., with the copyright, I would put them up to around five hundred pounds each for each picture. Yeah. Gosh. Now I don't know how good your maths is, but I make that around uh, ten thousand pounds. Yes. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> I hadn't uh, expected that much at all, no. Well, they're great images, they are very rare, and you can do something with them. It's a magic, uh, a magic and a very successful mixture.